Dragon S2 is a new open world free to play MMORPG coming out in July 20th. And in this game, there are many classes to play. And in this video, I have gotten some help from people that played the beta and have played the other versions of the game uh, to help you guys figure out which class that you guys should be playing when Dragon S2 comes out. And there is a lot of options to choose between. So let's jump right into it. So we're going to be getting four classes uh, from the start. And there's going to be more classes later on uh, in the game. But the four classes that we're going to be getting is Warrior, Archer, Cleric, and sorceress and don't make that uh, let that fool you because there is more than four classes in this game every single class has a subclass which has another two subclasses so there's a lot of classes for example uh, let's say the warrior the warrior you can choose between two subclasses which will be mercenary and swordsman and if you choose mercenary you can choose between barbarian and later on when you level up you can get to choose destroyer and if you choose swordsman you can choose between gladiator or moon lord so there's a lot of classes to choose between and things might get confusing uh, very quickly i didn't even know this game had this many classes but uh, let's just uh, start checking it out so first of all uh, we can just start off with uh, the warrior now the warrior will be the typical melee class that you guys are used to in most mmorpgs it's a class that will be a melee range be able to dish out some dps but also have tank ability so the first two subclasses beneath the warrior will be something called a mercenary uh, and swordsman these are the two options that you guys can choose between and underneath these there will be something called a barbarian or a destroyer so the mercenary we have a barbarian or destroyer now the barbarian class will be it'll have like a nice cool spin move a uh, nice aoe uh, damage and single target uh, dps and a lot of people use the destroyer class the destroyer class is more of like the tankier type uh, which people uh, use to speedrun through dungeons because you don't need really super tank in some of the dungeons you kind of want like a kind of tanky class but also be able to dish out a lot of class so the mercenary barbarian destroyer is a good choice for that now the sword and master which will be the second subclass under the warrior will have gladiator and or moon lord now the gladiator it will be more like the tank class uh for uh uh, this class but the gladiator will be using a sword you won't be using a shield you'll be using a sword but it will have like a threat aggro skill but it will get out aggroed by the paladin we're gonna talk more about paladin later but it's a good like secondary tank class will have good defenses now the moon lord which will be underneath the swordsman again uh so the warrior sword master moon lord is one of the best dps class in the game especially for pp is very strong overall in pp and a lot of people uh do does use it in pvp uh so moon lord is another subclass that will be very strong so if you're used to playing like a melee dps berserker style class moon lord or the warrior sword master is probably uh, the sub build that you guys want to be going for now going on to the next class we have the archer and if you guys are used to playing rangers in other classes archer so i've thought of bard class archer is definitely a class for you archer overall has a lot of uh damage and you can play both a long range and close range with this class it will have two subclasses will be the bowmaster and it will be the acrobat uh, the bowmaster will be like the long range style class so with the bowmaster you'll have the two subclasses will be sniper or artillery and then basically these skills will be a long range castable so you'll be like the typical archer ranger will be long range casting these skills and overall i heard artillery had one of the highest dps's uh when it came to like single target dps and dps overall in uh dragoness so if you guys are looking to play a ranger long range class probably go for artillery but all the other classes are super strong and they work for different staff of dungeons and raids or pvp now the other subclass would be the acrobat has the windwalker subclass or the tempest subclass now the windwalker and and tempest acrobat is more like a close range you'll be using bow which is kind of cool but you'll be like getting close to the enemies throwing out some whirlwinds doing some combo attacks like uh martial art attacks so overall it's like a bow user but with melee style uh damage it's a very interesting class to play but overall 
if you're looking to play like the long range bow class, you go for the subclass Bowmaster. But if you want to play a kind of orthodox archer with like melee style uh, attacks, uh, you go for the acrobat. Now, next up we have the cleric. And cleric overall was very popular class. And this is because the cleric ha is the main healer but also the main tank. So the two subclasses that Cleric has is Priest subclass and a Paladin subclass. Now the Priest subclass kind of says it in its own way. It has, it will be the healing class uh, and the two subclasses in, uh, inside the Priest subclass will be Saint and Inquisitor. So the Saint obviously will be more healing focus and Inquisitor has like long range AOE good stuns and the Saint also has some good AOE damage mainly AOE focus if you're going for if you're going to play like a support heal class that can push out some damage reduction skills debuffs debuffs healing go for the cleric priest uh, that'll be your choice if you're trying to do like DPS don't do not go for the priest the secondary class which would be under cleric paladin would be the main tank so it has like a threat skill uh if you're using a crusader and guardian which will take threat from uh, enemies so if you're looking to play like the full-on tank you're gonna go for the paladin uh and crusader so you will have a shield you will have a sword a typical paladin style class so you can also dish out damage so it's overall like a good class you can play it as mainly tank you play a main healer and as dps but if you used to play like support classes and other mmos like tank class heal class uh paladin will be your choice now next up we have the sorceress and sorceress again is the mage magical long range dealer now what is really cool about the sorceress is the first three, they will have two trees. The subclass will be Elemental Lord and Force User. If you're going for the Elemental Lord, you'll have something called Selena, which will be like the Fire Mage, and you'll have Elestra, which will be the Ice Mage. So basically, the Selena can do some nice AoE damage, uh, fire damage overall. Again, um, what I heard from Discords and overall is the sorceress is one of the highest DPS, so you cannot go wrong with it. If you're used to playing Mages, Necromancer, and these ice mages fire mages in other games this class will be for you so the first one will be against selena fire and elestra ice mage so i'm guessing ice would be better for like pvp as like some cool aoe's probably some freezes some stuns some staggers while the fire mage will be like more output dps wise and then the other subclass will be the force user has two builds will be smasher uh or majesty so those will be the two subclasses and they are more like give me more like a necromancer vibes it throws out like debuffs damage uh, orbs that does damage around the area uh but both of them are again a long range classes so it's like a, mag a typical mage uh but the other one is force uh based more on like throwing out orbs that does damage around it pushing out stuns could be really good for like mass pvp and stuff the majestic uh the majesty uh, will be uh, perfect for like long range overall because it does a lot of staggering a lot of stuns uh, so good class overall now there's two other classes that we're probably coming out later on which will be the academic which will have two subclasses which will be chaser and bringer and it will be assassin no sorry the assassin will have chaser and bringer the academic will have engineer alchemist but they will not be uh, on a launch so we're not going to talk too much about those two classes but those are the four classes the warrior archer cleric and the sorceress uh, which you can play now overall opinion of the classes you cannot go wrong with whichever class you choose if you choose to play warrior there are you can choose play dps which will be viable you'll be good for pp uh same goes with archer same goes with sorcerers cleric they all have their like own th thing going and uh, everybody can compete when it comes to like dps meters in raids dungeons pvp if you there's so many subclasses to choose between uh, that you you cannot go wrong with any of the classes you pick now if you still want my overall opinion i would say cleric is like the safest choice because you can play both healer tank and a dps uh, archer is a long range master you'll have that long range if you want to play something for fun you'll have like the acrobat class uh which will be like it's a unique unique uh, uh style class that you guys can play 
and then warrior super strong overall male like berserker style and the sorceress strong dps overall now if you want to if i had to choose i would go like if i had to choose a subclass in each category for warrior i'll play play moon lord for archer i would play artillery for cleric i would play the paladin crusader most likely because i'm like more of a tank style uh player and for sorcerers i'll play the majesty necromancer those are the, the classes i would go for but that is it for a dragon nest class guy let me know what you guys think will you, which class will you be picking i would love to know in the comments below and uh, i'll probably see you guys uh with more videos at launch which will be 20th july so uh stay tuned check out this video right here and i'll see you guys next time Bye bye